What is up, ladies and gents? Colin here, the Wild CEO, for another video on how to lose body fat naturally. The way to lose belly fat naturally is to do what's healthy. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about some of the really bad ideas about what people think weight loss is, particularly burning off fat, and how the idea of calories in, calories out, maybe it's not as simple as that. Okay, so we'll go through this article that we have on our website. You can find it over uh, a link below in the show notes, of course content at wildfoods.co, or you can just Google it. You'll find it. All right, so let's get right into this real quick. Let's get it five, six minutes tops. If you're interested in losing belly fat or just fat in general, right, almost everybody wants that, then I'm going to give you a very simple strategy for doing it. No frills, no fluff. You don't have to buy anything, no products here. Just pure, simple, actionable advice that you can implement on a daily basis, okay? So most expert gurus and people that talk about weight loss, they're using flawed outdated models that aren't actually proven. And then some of them are promoting plans and routines and saying, if you do this, you'll look like me, right? If you buy my booty plan or eat my diet or do this or whatever, buy my $49 ebook, buy my supplements, then you'll look like me. Now I sell supplements, I sell foods, but none of that's going to help you if you don't get the foundations down that we're going to cover right now in this video. Okay. So let's get right to the first point here. Fat loss is 100% your habits. It's 100% about what you do on a daily basis. Okay? That's what fat loss is. That, that's what weight loss is. That's what weight gain is. That's what long-term health and longevity is. All right? So habits are hard to break, right? Especially food habits. And that's why most people struggle with this their whole lives. And this is why the nutrition, diet, supplement industry are multi-billion dollar industries with the majority of people not getting results, they're going from this thing to that thing, this thing to that thing, shiny object syndrome. But it doesn't have to be that way, okay? I'm gonna give you right, I'm not gonna read through this line by line. I'm gonna kind of give you just the riff, my opinion on it. So losing weight requires a holistic long-term approach. The good news is that once you build those habits, you'll reach your goals easily. And then you stay there and you'll maintain your goals easily. You won't go through this yo-yo nonsense. The thing about losing weight though is it's it takes time, it takes consistency, and you have, I mean, when I say time, I mean, you, like, we gotta give it time. Now, if you have a lot of weight to lose and you immediately cut out sugar and grains and seed oils from your diet, you'll see results immediately. I mean, you might lose tens of 20, 30 pounds in 30, 60 days, okay? But that's going to be based on how much you have to lose and how far from what you're currently doing you go. So if you go to the other end of the spectrum and you go super, super clean, real food cooking at home every single day, yeah, it's a game changer what you can do. And yeah, you can have super fast results. Now, if you're going to slowly erode away those bad habits and slowly replace the new habits, then we're talking a six to 12 month plan minimum. So let's turn this, uh, let's turn this fan down a little bit. It's kind of loud. All right, so this is a short article and it should be a short video. Be below, I'm going to give you a list of the most important things you do to keep belly fat off naturally. Now, keep in mind that the number one thing is the most important thing. It's a whole food diet of real food cooked at home. A whole food diet of whole raw real ingredients that you bring from the farmer's market, from the farm, you get it shipped in, you buy from companies you trust, and then you compile those ingredients into a tasty meal or drink or whatever. That's the foundation of burning fat, losing weight, of also living a long time. Nothing that you, you can't do anything to prevent that. There's nothing you can do. If you're going to eat at, think, if you think you're going to eat at restaurants, if you think you're going to eat at packages, if you're going to go for the cheap process, easy, tasty food, and you convince yourself if you go on a treadmill a little bit longer or whatever, that you'll burn it off. No, literally that's the old paradigm. It doesn't work. And if you've struggled to get results this far in your life, if you've tried lots and lots of things, if you tried calorie restriction, if you tried extra exercise, if you spent thousands of dollars on gym memberships and then never went, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do any of that. And maybe you want to open up a little bit, see what you've done in the past, what didn't work, challenge the dogmas that you've been fed. I promise you right now, almost everything you've heard in a gym or from an expert or from a trainer or even on TV, almost every single thing as it relates to nutrition, and exercise is probably backward. It's probably exactly wrong. A whole food diet of real food where you bring the ingredients home, you grab your cast iron pan, 
you grab your nice sharp knife, you get your cutting board, you do a little bit of cooking, or sometimes you're just literally drizzling some olive oil and, and salt on some raw ingredients, put in a bowl, and like that's real food too. It's not like you always have to have this elaborate dish or make these elaborate recipes. Every meal, you wake up, you know, if you're into breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whatever, that's fine. I do two meals a day and I fast in the mornings. That's my strategy. And I aim for eating out no more than once or twice a week. Now, this took me a long time to break this habit. I'm not going to pretend this was easy. All right. I love food. I'm a foodie. I love going out to nice restaurants and spending money on food, but my health doesn't appreciate it, nor does my bank account. And so it took me moving out of Austin for a year, basically, and a global pandemic to finally break that habit. But now I eat almost all my meals at home. And actually here at the office, I have a kitchen here. So I bring steaks and I just first meal a day, cook it up. When you get into the habit and you flip your frame of mind from one of, I need a flavor high. It sounds so good. It's so tasty. I want to go get Chipotle. I want to go to this restaurant. I want to get this, this easy thing. And you think about how fast you can actually make something. Like I can cook a steak in literally eight minutes, right? Maybe 10. And I eat that steak. And it's my entire meal. I'm good. I'm done. And then I ask myself, or I think about anytime I'm contemplating going to a restaurant, I think about how long it's going to take, like minimum 30 minutes. It doesn't matter how fast it is. Like 30 minutes is what you're going to be spending between eating, going, I mean, driving there. That's a whole nother, I'm not even counting that. Like literally just standing in line, waiting for the food, eating the food, then getting back in your car. We're talking like 20, 30 minutes minimum every single time, not accounting for driving time. Okay. So it's actually not more convenient or easier and it doesn't save you time and it definitely doesn't save you money. The grocery store and or, you know, farmer's market, bringing stuff, having it shipped in, whatever, getting those ingredients at home and in your control and then creating simple, easy, and a lot of cases, cheap meals. I don't, I mean, cheap's not a great word, but you know, less expensive meals that you make yourself and then that you eat in a few minutes. It's amazing. It's less money. You save money, okay? Way better for your health. You can control everything that goes into that meal. And it's about the same amount of time and in some cases, even less time. It, it's just amazing. But like I could end the video here, the article here, this the entire thing. A whole food diet of real food cooked at home. So if you cook your meals at home, if you go for eating every meal at home or you know 90% where you maybe eat out a few times a week max and you pack your lunch the rest of the time, you bring ingredients, you go home, you know, if you're out and about, you fast, you don't have to snack, you just wait and get home and then eat. If you can do that, you will achieve the body and health of your dreams. It's just literally no exception here. Okay. Now I'm going to get into the, about the energy balance stuff, like, or the calories in calories out, but it's just basically a flawed narrative. It's just, I mean, I don't want to say it's a myth. Like there's a point where, yes, if you eat 10,000 calories a day, you're not going to be losing any fat. I mean, it's not likely anyways. And if you eat a few hundred calories a day, like you're going to waste away. But the problem is you're not going to be wasting all the fat off. You're actually going to probably burn the fat off last and your muscles are going to go and your organs are going to break down. And then last you'll burn off the fat because your body is trying to conserve it because it thinks it's in starvation mode. But again, I won't go down that rabbit hole. Okay. It's not worth it. The most important thing you have to do is eat real whole foods at home. That means no restaurants. It means no packaged foods. It means getting raw ingredients, cooking them yourself. It means using the highest quality ingredients you can afford. All you have to do is eat whole real foods cooked at home and then let your body do the rest. The pounds will mount off. You don't have the calorie count. You don't have to track. It's literally as simple as that. And then here's the real gist of this. Until you are eating most of your foods at home, nothing else you do matters. Okay. Nothing else you do. No gimmick, no workout routine, no exercise regimen, no gym membership, no trainer. There is no secret until you are eating most of your foods at home, right? And again, whole real foods, not like loading up your pantry with a bunch of processed crap and then eating that. Nothing can compete to this. Nothing comes close, okay? So there's two ways to do this. I got it here in the, in the article. Two strategies that you can start today to think about how to keep your diet very simple because we're, I am particularly, but we're big fans of simplicity here at Wild Foods. We keep our ingredients simple, our products simple, and our message simple. Strategy one, this is not as optimal, but it's a pretty good start. This is what you can do. You can eat anything you want as long as you make it from scratch. 
So if you want pasta, if you want cookies, if you want even ice cream, you buy the raw ingredients, you Google a recipe, and you make it at home. So cookies, usually it's flour, butter, and sugar, right? And obviously you can make healthier versions with like a gluten-free flour, and you could go for like a erythritol or maybe some xylitol or maybe some honey, you know, et cetera. Pasta, same thing. You could do einkorn wheat. You could import some organic wheat, and then you could use that flour to make a homemade pasta, okay? And then you can eat pretty much anything you want. And the thing is, your body will probably figure it out. <laughs> you'll eat the proteins from the animal foods. You'll have some plants here and there. You'll have some veggies here and there. And maybe you'll have some grains here and there. And it won't be that bad of a diet. Ideally, you'll go for the, the highest quality ingredients you can get. You'll go for no vegetable oils or anything like that. You'll go for the really, really good oils and the fats and the proteins, etc. And your body will probably take care of the rest, to be honest. And you'll also probably not be in the mood to cook pasta from scratch. So you won't eat that often. You won't want to make cookies from scratch, so you won't eat them that often. But if you do, you make it, you're fine. Now, strategy two is what I recommend, okay? This is what you should do. Eliminate all grains. That includes beans, lentils, legumes, wheat, and flours from your diet. Eliminate all added sugar. Now, again, a bit of sugar from fruit and veggies is not a big deal. But if you're trying to lean up, you do want to watch your fruit intake. Eliminate all seed and vegetable oils. And then use coconut, avocado, palm, towel, lard, butter, MCT oil, and ghee. Those are the primary cooking oils. You really could get by with just ghee, butter, a little bit of MCT, maybe some coconut oil, maybe some avocado oil, and a quality tallow or lard. I mean, actually, you should just get all these, to be honest, but get high-quality stuff. Then you eat as many high-quality animal foods as you want. That includes seafood. Whatever you want, just opt for the highest quality you can afford. And then you eat fruits and vegetables. And then you eat clean starches like yams, sweet potatoes, whatever. And then you make sure you're eating ample fat. Oils above that we mentioned, uh, nuts and seeds if you want them, although they're not necessary. And then plenty of fatty fish, plenty of organ meat, and plenty of grass-fed beef or game or elk or whatever. Okay, so you might have expected a long list of things to do to lose belly fat, you know, because Google loves those. But, I mean, that would be a disservice to you. Because the only thing you need to do is what we talked about here. Whole food diet of real food cooked at home. A whole food diet of real food cooked at home. And these are the two strategies to do that. Eat whatever you want as long as you make it from scratch. Or, preferred strategy, eliminate some of the toxic foods. Go for a lower carb, higher protein, moderate fat diet, which is the most ancestrally appropriate diet there is. And of course, these are ranges. You can fluctuate these up or down depending on your preferences and your goals, etc. But if you're generally really, really in the mood to lose some weight, then you want to watch your sugar intake and you want to watch your carb intake and you want to prioritize protein and you want to eat moderate fat. That's it. This is it. This is how you burn off fat. This is how you lose weight. This is how you get healthy, get lean, look good naked. It's everything. Now, of course, there's a lot of reasons why these are the recommendations. There's reasons why we say eat a lot of animals and we say go lower carb and this and that, but we don't have time for that. And there's tons of other content out there. The most important thing you can do, even if, you know, even if you did strategy one, is to cook your food at home. Scratch made food. Don't let a corporation cook for you any chance you can get, like avoid as much as possible. Buy the raw constituent parts, the raw ingredients, and then bring it home and make your own beverages and meals and recipes and whatever. Just get in the kitchen, take control of your sourcing and your ingredients that you're eating, use some quality oil, quality salt. Again, you can get all this at wildfoods.co and that's it. That's the secret. That's the secret to weight loss, to longevity, to health. It's gonna comprise as much as 80 to 90% of your results. And if you didn't even go to the gym, if you didn't exercise once in the next year, but you followed this strategy here, right? you would still get lean and, and maybe even ripped. It's incredible. So let me know if you have any questions below wherever you're seeing this. And if you want to get super premium high quality ingredients that follow the wild sourcing standard are obsessed with quality standard for sourcing, head over to wildfoods.co, use code WILDCEO for 12% off, 12 fro cent off for 12% off. Get your oil there. We got some MCT, we got some fish oil, we got your supplements, we got your real foods, we got cocoa butter, we got pink salt, we got a bunch of high quality ingredients that you can use in the kitchen to make your own drinks, 
and cook your own meals. That's the key.